Hello friends, welcome back. Let's look at this interesting problem. We have to solve for values of x and y. We have been given that root x plus y equals to 7 and x plus root y equals to 11. Now we can solve this problem in more than one method. We'll just look at couple of the methods how we can solve this. Now we have two equations root x plus y equals to 7 x plus root y equals to 11 and we were told that x comma y are integers. If x and y are positive integers, if x and y are integers then obviously root x and root y should also belongs to z because if that is not the scenario we cannot get root x plus y equals to 7. We know y is a positive integer. If root x is not a positive integer then we know we can't get root x plus y equals to 7 because we have a positive integer here. Suppose we have a, suppose let us say we have a irrational number here, then you cannot add them to get a integer. So we know that root x comma root y also belongs to z. Let's go ahead and do a substitution. We'll say that let root x equals to a and root y equals to b so that we can remove those square roots there then we can rewrite whatever is given to us as a plus b square equals to 7 and a square plus b equals to 11 let this be our equation 1 and equation 2 we'll subtract them we'll write down 2 minus 1 will give us a square plus b minus a minus b square equals to 4. Now let us see how we can simplify this. We can write down a square minus b square minus of a minus b equals to 4. We can write it as a minus b into a plus b minus of a minus b equals to 4 or we can take a minus b common and write down a minus b into a plus b minus 1 equals to 4. Now a minus b into a plus b minus 1 equals to 4. So we know that a comma b belongs to z positive, positive integers. In that scenario a minus b comma a plus b also will be integers only. So what are the combinations we have for a minus b into a plus b minus 1 equals to 4? We have options 1 comma 4, 4 comma 1. We can take minus 1, minus 4. Then we have minus 4, minus 1. Now if you look at all the options, the only option which works out is a minus b equals to 1 and a plus b minus 1 equals to 4. So we have a plus b minus 1 equals to 4 and a minus b equals to 1. Simplifying we will have a plus b equals to 5 and a minus b equals to 1. Solving this simple simultaneous linear equation we will get a equals to 3 and b equals to 2. That means root x equals to 3 and root y equals to 2 that will give us x equals to 9 and y equals to 4. Let's substitute and check them. Root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 4 equals to 7. x equals to 9. Root y is 2. 9 plus 2 equals to 11. So both the equations are satisfied by the values what we got that is x equals to 9 and y equals to 4. So that's one interesting problem I just thought of sharing with you. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.